Are you guys buying this? Because I'm not quite sure that I am. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we got to talk about the comedian Sarah Silverman complaining yet again about being on the left, about being a leftist. There are certain things you must do and certain things that you must agree with to be on the left. There's certain, I guess you would say, core tenets. And the way it is nowadays, these are some really strange core tenets. You got to believe in critical race theory. You got to believe in racism. You got to believe in police brutality. You got to believe in X, Y, Z, this, that, and the third. You got to say certain things. You got to do certain things. That's part of being on the left when you're talking about political figures, celebrities, and whatnot. Sarah Silverman is acting like she doesn't want to do it and she doesn't believe in it, but yet she's still over there. Now, before I go any further, let's roll the clip. In this clip, you're going to see and hear what I'm talking about. And after we get done watching that, I'll come back. I'll talk about what she said there. Then I'll give you my two cents and my deep detail analysis. And then I'll wrap it on up with a nice bow on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Hi, everybody. It's me, your best friend, Sarah. Um, Let's talk about my week. I don't know. Um... This thing happened where Joanne Reed, who I enjoy and follow, tweeted, she tweeted a CNN article about how Ron DeSantis, um, the governor of Florida, wants to form a state militia made of civilians. So the CNN headline reads, DeSantis proposes a new civilian military force in Florida that he would control. And she retweeted it and she wrote, um, so y'all know this is fascisty bananas, right? Here's the thing. If you read the article she retweeted, um, you read that 23 other states have this, you know, voluntary civilian militia already, including California and New York. And so uh, I replied just like a little comment underneath. I didn't like retweet it. Um, But I just said, you know, please read the article before you post this stuff. You know, you're a... you're a news outlet. The, the truth has to matter. We're so divided. We can't even criticize the people our own side. We can't even critique anyone in your own party without punishment. One of the hosts of The View was like, what hubris for Sarah Silverman to accuse a black woman of not reading? Oi, Jesus H, what the? F- I fucking, I surrender. Good grief. I don't want any trouble. I cannot believe I need to say this, but I did not criticize Joy Ann because she's black, but because she's a a Harvard-educated journalist with the responsibility, ideally, of showing the whole picture and not just a piece of a picture. All right, so you saw that, you heard that. Now, (laughs) Sarah Silverman, we've been here before. I did a video earlier this year where she was saying pretty much the exact same thing, complaining, crying about being on the left, talking about, oh, well, you can't say this and you can't say that. Well, yeah, that's that's pretty much how it goes when you're on that side. That's just what it is. And if you don't want to do that, how about stop advocating for these things? The, the funniest thing to me is this whole thing about racism, right? She got caught up in the whole situation with Joy Ann Reed. And, and before I get into that, let's back up and talk about that. Now, I'll place the tweet in question on the screen before you. And basically, Joanne Reed was just kind of making an assumption about what DeSantis was doing. And then Sarah Silverman is like, hey, let's just pump the brakes for a minute. Let's just read the article first before we just make broad assumptions, Joanne Reed. Oh, you can't say that. They're talking about how dare you try to, like, you're white splaining for a black woman, all this and that basically accusing Sarah Silverman of being a racist for trying to question Joy Reid. Like, because she's black and she's a woman and on the left, you can't say one word. Now, if she was black and a woman on the right, like Candace Owens, or you can say whatever you want to say. You could call it an N-word with a hard R, even if you're a white person, it's totally fine. So that whole race thing makes no difference when you're on the opposite side of the aisle But when you're on the left, you must do and say as the left do and say, period. The race stuff matters. The political stuff matters. 
the LGBTQ, elemental P, all that stuff matters. And again, it doesn't matter when you're on the right. Let, let's say, for example, you're Caitlyn Jenner, a.k.a. Bruce Jenner. Let's say you're that person. They don't care about this person being trans because they are also a conservative, kind of. So whatever you say about this person is totally fine because they're not on your side. That's, that's the whole thing about being on the left. And Sarah Silverman is like, well, why must that be so? Well, you advocate for these things by being on the left. You talk about income inequality and racism and orange man bad artists, that and the third. Well, this is part of it. You have sown your crops. Now you're reaping what you sow. It was written in the oldest book in the Bible. You can you can look it up. I'm not even religious, but it's already it's already written. It's right there. Some of these things are basic human realities, basic truths that we have known to be true for a very long time, regardless of where you are economically, regardless of where you are geographically, regardless of your race, your your gender, whatever you identify as. You can identify as the last train to Georgia, the midnight train to Georgia. It doesn't really matter. Some of these things are going to be true regardless of what, regardless of who, regardless of how, right? So why pretend to act like you don't know what's going on? I don't really get it. Maybe it's because she wants some some publicity, some PR for her podcast. I mean, I, I, I would assume so because I don't see no other reason. Okay, if you don't want to be held to these ridiculous standards, then how about not being political while at the same time being a, a celebrity, being some kind of public figure? If you are a celebrity and you're on the left, you're going to be held to those standards. That's just what it is. You don't get to question it, Joy Reid. How dare you? She's a black woman. She's a queen and a leftist. If she was that same exact person on the right, then disregard all that black queen stuff. It doesn't really matter at that point, right? The whole point is that Sarah Silverman is complaining about things that she should not really even be concerned about. Ultimately, who cares? You're over there. You're promoting that stuff. So if you're going to promote it, if you're going to go out there and be a public figure, being very political, having the podcast, be ready for the consequence. Don't surrender. Why? Why surrender? What's the point in having the podcast and being outspoken and saying things that go against the grain? If you're just going to say, I throw my hands up and I, I quit. Why do that? Why do that? Stand on what you believe in. That's what I would do if I were you. But as I close, I want to say this. Um, shout out to everybody out there that's not going to surrender. That is stand for what they believe in. If you say a particular thing in private, say it in public. Say it in public, say it in private. Be a real person. Don't be afraid to say how you feel. Now, I understand some guys and girls, you got jobs, you got kids, and it's real out here, and you got to keep your employment to keep food on the table. I get it. But if you're a high-profile person, you got millions of dollars, and you're not really going to lose anybody by saying that particular thing, just go out there and say what you got to say. And if you don't say what you want to say, then don't complain about not being heard. And if you do say what you want to say, don't complain about the left. In this case, don't complain about them attacking you. You knew this would happen. You know your own people. Don't act as a cool kid, say brand new. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about what Sarah Silverman said in her podcast? Uh, was she on point, off point? Um or some kind of other point, whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I stand with it. I say that this is pretty much par for the course. This is what the left does. You can't attack anybody over there, and there's always going to be a reason. Oh, don't attack this person. They're a 1,000 years old. You're ageist. Don't attack them. They're disabled. You're ableist. Don't attack them. They're LGBT. You're homophobic. Don't attack them. They're a black woman, black queen, artist and net. Uh, your racist is always something, always a reason that they're going to surround the wagons. That's what they do. And if you're going to be over there, just abide by those rules. And if you don't want to abide by those rules, then don't be over there. Don't come on the Internet crying about a thing that you yourself, Sarah Silverman, had a big hand in creating. You didn't made your bed. Now you got to lie in it. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe.
Peace.